Okay, I'm back. So let's talk about whips or works in progress. And I pulled out a bunch of them that I'm currently working on that are around me in the living room here where I work. And that includes a couple that are older that are unlicensed. So if that offends you, I do apologize, but these are older kits and I'm not going to throw them away. I'm going to continue to work on them. And you guys did mention, several of you mentioned, that you wanted to see some of my older canvases when I do my stash videos. So here some of them are. <laughs> You'll get to see some of them. So uh, just warning you at the start that a few of these uh, are unlicensed canvases. So what do we have here? These are not my full set of whips. I have a few larger ones that are put away on my closet shelf that are older large double-sided adhesive they'll come out at some point um, but these are more like my current works in progress I, i'll call it like an archive so i have some kits that i have in my archive i should say that i don't want to get rid of i don't want to give up on but i don't want to work on them in the near term so they are archived or put away in a couple boxes and in my closet so i do have a few more that i'm not showing here but let's start with this one because it's on the top here and I, I moved my camera. Silly me was trying to figure out how to carry all these over to my little diamond painting table. <laughs> and then I finally said, self, why are you doing that? Why don't you move the camera, which is much lighter and easier to carry over to where your whip sits? So that's what I did. This is actually my coffee table in my living room because I don't have small children. <laughs> so... Uh, we don't really use the coffee table in here, uh, so they hold my whips. So anyway, that's why it might look like a slightly different view here. It makes the camera a little bit higher so I can get more in. So this is a mystery kit that I bought on Timo a while back. So this one is a 90 by 30. I think I even talked about this one on one of the channels. It's a square, as most mystery kits are. And I did start it. I was curious because of all the purples, but this is double-sided adhesive and I didn't get that far on it. And this one may go into the archive, as I call it, at least for a while, because I did figure out what it is. Here, I can peel back and you can see there's a butterfly. This is actually a small portion of a bigger picture with flowers. So what they did is they just cut off the top part <laughs> and made a mystery canvas out of that so you can see the butterflies and flowers there but you can see the full size of this painting available on Amazon and other places that's not cut off right at the top so I'm not really sure that I like all that background it's all the same color there I'm not sure I like that it's kind of a cut off picture so um, I don't know this one is going to be has been moved aside for a while so I am going to put that one up on my closet shelf into my archive so this is another one I bought on Amazon quite a while ago because I love maps and map diamond paintings are hard to find so this is another unlicensed one uh, but I wasn't real happy with how the bottom was coming out this one will get finished this one is not going into the archive so I just keep it over by my desk and every once in a while I'll pull it out and work on it. This is Squares and it is still available on Amazon. It is a world map, very colorful, but I think in the original these were like, like supposed to be landmarks and stuff, but this one is just so small that it's hard to really tell what's going on there. So I think like that's supposed to be the Statue of Liberty and, and all that. So I don't know <laughs> how well that's gonna come out. But the other thing I was worried about, I didn't buy this one for a long time because of all the background. Um, all the colors were in the world map part, but the background is very gray. But it hasn't been too boring because there's been a lot of different color changes in that background. Hadn't been too bad. But I'm not real sure I like how that one's coming out. But I'll keep going on this one because it is so small. It'll get done some point this year. Here's another one. I started this one actually this month or last month in May and this one will get done as well because I have done quite a bit on it so far. This is another mystery kit 
So if I peel my release papers away, you will see. I was trying to get some of my smaller mystery kits out of the way. So this is what um, a mystery kit looks like. I did an unboxing for this. This was from the company Cat Eared that comes with uh, the, the pen and the, the little container for the wax. It's a little bit higher end. The drills are really nice, really sparkly. So that is my mystery. And this one had a lot of blue. So I was curious, I didn't know what it was as I started it, but now you can see that it's like an Arctic looking scene there with mama and baby tiger critters. So that one should be done uh, by the end of June. Okay, my puppy dog. I have shown this one before. This was from Crystal Canvas Art Designs. I got this one on sale um, during their, I think they do the sale maybe September, October each year where they clear out some of their in inventory where you, if you buy a couple of regular price ones and you get deals on several other from a subset of stuff they're trying to get rid of. So that's what this one was, but I can't find the drills. I'm not very far from being done with this one, but I know they're around here somewhere. I know they're in this living room. <laughs> and I thought maybe when I was reorganizing my stash, I'd run across them. I have a pretty good idea of where they might be, but at the moment, the drills are still hiding from me. So this one, even though it's so close, not quite there yet. So that one will get done. That's not going in the archive. This one I showed last month. This is on a blank canvas. This is a cross stitch conversion from Heaven and Earth Design. So you can see no symbols there on the canvas. This is a Josephine Wall, Spirit of the Elements. So this is the bottom corner with the snowflakes. And this one will indeed get worked on. Uh, cross stitch conversions take a little more brain power, a little more thinking to get done. So you have to be in the right mood for that. So that one is not going into my long-term storage. Okay, this one, another current Van Gogh. I usually try to do two a month to get through all the ones I have. Uh, this one was the one that I said I probably didn't recommend. This is from the company Figure Day Art that I bought on Amazon. And these were horrible drills. And because there's so much black, it really was not fun. And you can see some of the lines showing through there on that white part there, that star or moon, or I guess it's a star of some kind, whatever that is, you can see the black lines showing through. So I will have to do that, uh, do a fix with that. I think a lot of people use mica powder sprinkled in to cover up those spots of black where they show through on lighter colors. But these drills were uneven and different sizes and definitely acrylic. Uh, older diamond painting drills, I would say, like leftovers from five or 10 years ago when diamond painting was uh, new and the quality of the materials wasn't as good. So it will get done because I got through most of the black except for the bottom here. So I might as well finish it. So I have one quarter of it done. It will get done eventually. So that one stays in my current whips. And then this one I did some work on this month. I got up a little bit higher on here. This is my Bella Safina round drill canvas that I bought. It's a 50 by 50. And her kits are really special and she does her own borders on here. I have, of course, tape. And actually I should take off some of that tape there because it's only partially taped up because I was doing this uh, for the eclipse when I was camping I was I started this and it was a little bit sticky around the edges But this one as you can tell a lot of special drills a lot of confetti. This is a cactus and you Can probably see through the release paper there. There's a hummingbird. So I'm coming up on the easy parts So I've really been enjoying because I love confetti. I've been enjoying this canvas it's been a lot of fun, a lot of sparkle, and because it's around, it's a good break. So when I'm tired of working on squares, I pull this one out and do a little bit more work on it. But I'm getting up into the, the sky part, which should go a lot faster. 
So I do indeed enjoy this one and I do recommend uh, Bella Safina if you haven't checked out her site. I think all of hers are rounds. But look at all that sparkle. So this one will get done. Maybe this month, but I got so many other things. So maybe July. We'll say July. We'll finish that. So speaking of unlicensed, here you go. What we have here is Spirit of Flight, but this is not Diamond Art Club. This is not the one with the diamond art. This is AliExpress. And that was because I was having a really hard time getting a hold of this painting several, or quite a while back. I wouldn't say several years, but maybe last year when I found this. Uh, don't recommend it, but I thought I'd show you because you did say you wanted to see some of these older canvases, even if they are unlicensed. So the drills are fine. And I had gotten pretty far before uh, I stopped working on it. This one will go into the archive or up on my closet shelf. And that's because, as you can see, it's a lot fewer colors. It's a softer rendering. It's hard to make out a lot of this stuff. So if you see the real thing, the real deal, which I do have and will be working on, uh, it's a lot more clear. So you basically have a bunch of yellow blobbiness here and then the bird, and then a bunch of blue blobbiness there. So this one, um, even though I thought at the time this was the only way I'd probably have this one, it's not worth finishing at, at least anytime soon. So this one will go into my closet archive. But if you're curious about what you would see if you were to try to find or purchase one of these from AliExpress, this is what you get. Very few colors on these. As you can see, this one, it says 45 colors, but a lot of them are even fewer colors, so they just don't come out the same. So, that one's going into the archive. Okay, this one, Diamonds and Dobermans, was just asking me the other day about how I was going to be doing the nose on this one. Well, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it as charted. This is Diamond Art Club Moon Goddess. And I started this one for an event uh, hosted by Angie up in Canada. This was for the Sparkle Addiction event. And I didn't get that far. But the idea with that event was that you would take a canvas and bling it up yourself. Add some specials to it and do a couple things yourself. I, this is not one that I would normally do but I picked it out because of all the special drills already and the number of colors. And I liked kind of the watercolor, softer rendering of this one. So this is what I got so far. It's getting there. I only have three full rows and a little part of one row left on this one. But I did add several sparkles or several AB drills of my own here. You really see it in the blue there in the water. I just did a one-to-one -one replacement for about four or five colors. And so that one is coming along nicely. I am enjoying this one. Um, again, though, ran into issues with the darker drills through there. Had to pick through them. It's a little more frustrating. But it seemed like the grid spacing on this one is a little bit looser than the Van Gogh that I did. So it wasn't as difficult to do with those dark drills. So it hasn't been very frustrating. Um, not as much as the other one. And if you're curious about these release papers, that's from Bee's Crafty Corner, which is an Etsy shop and they are based in Canada. And I'm not completely sure how I feel about these for larger canvases because the paper's really, really thick, which means it doesn't have a whole lot of give if you've got a big canvas that you're trying to roll up or kind of have hanging over the side of the table. Some of these release papers were trying to pop up on me as I've been working on it. So uh, these are actually, that was a half size. They're actually cut like this. Um, 
with two pictures on one page, but to make it fit all the way along the edge, I went ahead and cut some in half. So this one should get done in the next month or two because I can do a row in a few days on this one. It's been going pretty quick. So this one may get done in June, if not, then definitely by July. So that's Moon Goddess. And then we have to throw in a little bit of dreamer designs for you. I started this one this month as well. So this is Lush from Dreamer Designs. And I picked this one because of all the special drills in it as well. This has rhinestones in it, which are showing up here in the green. So it's got actual rhinestones instead of just regular uh, diamonds. So this one has been a lot of fun to work on, really easy. So this is one of those, um, if I don't feel like thinking too hard, because it's, uh, even though there's a lot of colors and a lot of flowers, it's a lot of multi-placing and a lot of fun as well with those special drills. So this one has been easy and fun, but I've just started it this month. So I do like to switch around and do several canvases at once because it just depends on my mood, on what I feel like working on. And I can just walk over to this pile and pick one that just appeals to me for that day and work on it. So this one will stay in my pile and we'll get there eventually. Okay, here's another one that I started for this month. This is Diamond Art Club and this is Octopus Shipwreck. And I started this one for an event from Diamond Art Club Canada and Alyssa, but I only got through one week of the event. And that's pretty typical when I have tried to do events. I tend to fall off pretty quickly with them. So I'll get all excited, I'll get into it, I'll do the first week, and then I start working on other things because, like I said, I like a variety going at once. So I got this corner done and then it just got put away. It's enjoyable, it's been fun. It's a little darker than I thought, especially in this corner, but it does lighten up as you go north. And I love ocean scenes because of all the fun and variety and the, the little fishes and coral that pop out as you work on them. Ocean scenes are a lot of fun. So this one will get done. I just kind of fell off a little bit on the event. Nothing wrong with the event, nothing like that. I just wanted to work on other things and I got all the, the PR packages. I'm all caught up on those for the moment. So I should have some more time to, to do the stuff that I really want to work on. So this one will stay in the rotation and it'll slowly get done over time. So you'll see more of this one. Drills are great on this one. Haven't had spacing issues. The dark colors on here are not black. There's a little bit of black in the corner, but it's mostly been dark, dark blues. So they've been fitting a lot better and not difficult to work with. So there I'll zoom in on what I've got done so far. Very good sparkle. That one's a lot of fun. Okay. You probably recognize this one and you'll also see that not much has happened on it. Nothing wrong with this one, but I do have to be more careful with this one and why it stays laid, laid out flat like that. We've got a little bit of something spilled there on the edge of the canvas. But this is my Josephine Wall Three Graces from Diamond Painting Deutschland. So it actually goes this way, just trying to make it fit. So you can see the parts that are done. It's a lot of fun. The end result looks really good here. I'll try to get it in front of the camera so you can see. But this one is a ton of confetti, so it does take a lot of concentration with, I think this one's 250 colors. You see, 270 colors. <laughs> I knew it was one of the most colors that I've ever done. Um, so, it, and you can see all, just about all the colors are showing up there just in that top part with all the flow, flowers, floral stuff, flowers. <laughs> Couldn't decide which, which way I was gonna go with that word, so anyway. So there's my Josephine Wall Three Graces. That one stays in the works in progress down here. 
not going in my closet. That one will get some love soon. Okay, now let's talk about this one. And you can see the canvas is really starting to show that it's been getting beat up over time. But this is the progress on my Josephine Wall Spirit of the Storm from the one with the diamond art. I know you guys have been asking about this uh, off and on. So I will show you. This is how I've managed so far. I did seal some of this. That's why the diamonds aren't getting knocked off because I did a mix of 50-50 Mod Podge and water to seal the part as I'm going along to make sure I don't lose any drills because this thing is so huge, it's so hard to manage. Even on this table, it's just almost unmanageable. So, the news on this one is that it's going into the archive. It's going up on my closet shelf, and this one may not ever get done. Which is kind of sad because this is what started the channel, but there's good news related to this. And the reason that I'm finally going to put this one away is because the one with the Dari Madar just announced over the last week, they now have color canvases for all their Josephine walls. So you can go on their website right now and buy color canvases for their J walls, which I'm going to do eventually. <laughs> I got to build up the funds for that one though. So I will be replacing this one with a color version of the canvas and it's much more likely that I will finish it because of that. So I hate giving up on this one. I tried to fight through it and I did get a fair amount done through here. There's a drill right there trying to pop off. Came off that spot. But I'm just, I'm tired of fighting, trying to read these symbols and all that. So they are releasing a bunch of new J walls, they said. They'll be up there shortly. But if you gave up, um, try checking them out again. And that's what I will be doing. I'll purchase, repurchase this in the color canvas and show it to you guys and let you know what I think and all that. But we're talking about $150 for that, just the canvas, not to mention the shipping and all that stuff. So it's not going to be anytime soon. I got to build up a little bit more diamond painting money <laughs> to be able to purchase that. Because I just made a purchase from them that I showed uh, this month for a couple of bigger canvases. So I'll work on those for a while while I build up the funds to replace this one with the color canvas. And I think it'll be a much better experience. So that is why I'm giving this one up for now, because I'd rather have the color canvas. And this one has just gotten so beat up. So I'm rolling it up and it will finally not be on my living room table to get in the way. I've had to kind of keep it folded and do other things to make it fit. So now I don't have to worry about that one anymore. So you'll get an update when I finally do make my purchase <laughs> for its replacement. So now we can talk Jaded Gem Shop as we move into Summer with the Masters, which is one event that I do like to participate in that's much more laid back. Goes on for two events. You don't have to have a fresh start and you don't have to have a finish and they're only posting videos every two weeks this year so you might want to check it out if you want a really laid back event and this is for canvases that are before 1928 so the idea is old masters artwork famous art pieces because in the u.s uh, they become open source for anything before 1928. So that's why that date was chosen. This was a mystery kit that I purchased from Jaded Gem Shop. And for the mystery, you can just let her pick. Um, you can create a wish list and have her pick from a wish list. But to me, that would mean that you have some idea of what you're getting. I know what this is and I am very happy with the selection and I really do enjoy working on her canvases. Her rendering of Old Master's artwork is amazing. 
and her drills are amazing. So I have had fun with this one. I just haven't had a whole lot of time to work on it, but since this is Summer with the Masters for June and July, I will be pulling this one back out and giving it a little bit of love and working on it here and there. So when I ordered my mystery kit, I picked the size. I didn't go too big with this one. And I told her just an old master's artwork. So I let her pick that out. So Jaded Gem Shop canvases have that green line around them. Very, very nice drills. Look at that. Resin drills, very sparkly. Very nice, very easy to do. And for the mysteries, they come with the black cover, but it is a black and white for the mysteries, but it comes with this dark cover so you can't see what you're working on to keep the mystery alive. Now me, I cheated. <laughs> Once I had gotten a certain amount of it done, I went to the website to see if I could figure out. It's a lady holding a basket with grapes. So she's gonna be beautiful. But that's where I stand on that one. Which leads me to another older one here. Or older design, not older canvas, because I've unboxed this one and kitted it up. And you guys have seen this one before. This is my other Jaded Gem Shop. This was kind of my Christmas gift to myself. So this is much better for an old school map for my wall here in the living room. So I've only managed to get a corner done, but it's been fun to work on. It's been great. I have lost a couple drills there though. I'll have to put some tape around this one and give it some love because it's been piled on, on the table here. And since it's a bigger canvas, the edges do pop out there around the edge of the table. But uh, I really want to get this one done. I don't know why I haven't worked on it except it's been near the bottom of the stack. <laughs> Maybe that's part of it. I look at the stack and go, oh, I don't want to dig way down there to have to move everything to get that one out. So we will get this one done. And if you have been on my channel since the beginning, at one point I did a vote on which should I work on next. And this one was the uh, most voted on and the one that I picked out at the time. This is another Diamond Art Club. This was one of my Black Friday purchases. Really cute penguin family with the Aurora colors, uh, the neat night sky. I actually had trouble reading the canvas on this one, if you're wondering why I stopped, at least for a little while. This one will be coming back out as we head into the fall and toward Christmas because it does give me a Christmas and winter vibe, obviously. It's penguins in the snow. <laughs> and it is, the colors are coming out really, really nice. The drills are nice and all that, but I did have a little trouble discerning some of the different colors there, especially in these pinks and purples. That's several colors, but I had a harder time reading this canvas. But that doesn't mean it's not going to get done. It will. It just, again, big canvas near the bottom of the stack. I'll have to rearrange this stack after I'm done with this video so that some of these near the bottom can come back toward the top and get at least some work done. So I could get a couple rows done on that one over the next couple months. My poor couch is getting full of canvases. Okay, I should probably <laughs> give a disclaimer. Probably too late there. Uh, this is a Diamond Art Club mystery kit. And this is one that I've been working on for a while. It's a lot of fun. This is mystery kit number, uh, I'm trying to see, 31. So uh, if you're familiar with Diamond Art Club mystery kits, they come out every so often. You don't know what the picture is. They do have the clear cover on them, so you kind of get an idea pretty quick. I am in the Mystery Club Facebook group so that I know what I'm getting before I buy them. I actually have several Diamond Art Club mysteries because I do like doing the mystery canvases, um, but I know what they all are. <laughs> so if you don't want to know what Mystery 31 is, hopefully that short look um, didn't ruin anything for you. So that's your last warning. Here we go. Mystery kit number 31. 
and this one's been a lot of fun. I knew in general that it was an ocean picture, but I didn't know the details of it. So it's been fun to work on because you see all these uh, little critters coming to life as you do each section. So we got clownfish, we got other fish. I didn't even recognize uh, what this was as I was working on it. We have a little eel right there. So lots of sparkle with this one, lots of special drills and never boring. There's always something different going on. Now it might be once I get toward the, the sky there, but that is my mystery kit. I need to give that one some more love as well. And then finally, because you may see one under here, this was just temporary storage. Now that I've finally gotten to the bottom, I'll put that one away because I haven't actually started that one. That's for Christmas next year. But this is my Dreamer Designs, Coral Reef Island. Um, early on, <laughs> I believed go big or go home and that's why you see all these huge canvases because bigger means uh, the artwork is more clear and there's, um, they just come out better. So a lot of these are bigger, but sometimes I get worn out from working on the bigger ones. So uh, Art, or not Art Dot, um, Diamond Dots has a version of this that's a partial. And I have that one as well, so I'd like to do a comparison. Because this one is rendered much better, I think, just on what I've seen on the box. And on the Diamond Dot ones, the sky is not done, but this is a full drill, so the sky here is done. Um, you can still make out the birds and everything. But there is a lot more detail, at least down here on the Dreamer Designs full version than the Diamond Dots partial. But they are somewhat close to the same size, slightly different. But I do like this one. Again, another ocean scene. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun and I've, I've made some good progress on this one. So I think since it is summer, and I love the ocean, that some of these ocean scenes will be piled at the top with my Old master stuff. So we'll see how much we can get done June through August on some of these and get them out of the way. And this one, I unboxed it last winter here and I just never put it away. So this one I have not worked on. The drills are in a different spot when I was going through my my stash stuff and organizing it. I found the drills. I need to get them back together and get this in a box, but this is Christmas shells. So since I love the beach, I like the idea of this Christmas beach theme. I know several countries, especially in the Southern Hemisphere, <laughs> don't have snow at Christmas. So I really like that they had come up with, with the Christmas that wasn't all full of snow and all that. And I haven't been recording. Oh, yes. Okay, I have. <laughs> okay, I thought I had stopped recording. So I'm going to stop here. That's my full works in progress. That's a little bit of some news on what you won't see coming up. And my hope that I can get the one with the diamond art um, newer canvas for my Spirit of the Storm. Because that one means a lot to me. And I really want to get that one done. So I will be purchasing when I get a chance and get a replacement for that one and put the other one away. I'll probably go a little bit smaller though. I don't think it needs to be that big. <laughs> Make it a little bit more manageable. So that's what I've got. I know it's been a long video, but I just wanted you to be updated on where I stand with all my projects and even show some of those really old ones. So I will be back with more videos this week. I have a few unboxings that I plan to do. I did purchase some Dreamer Designs and Diamond Art Club last weekend, but it's been a week and none of them have shipped yet. They are still sitting in warehouses. Uh, the Diamond Art Club, one of them was a pre-order, but it meant that it held back my other one that I bought from them because you want to do the shipping uh, to save money. You want to ship more than one, but I don't like this idea of the pre-orders. So they had one this week I kind of considered, but then because it was a pre-order, I said, nope, not doing that. So I don't want to have to pile on canvases that just uh, sit there 
for a while. So um, we'll see where, where that goes, but I did not buy this week. So my Diamond Art Club one probably won't ship for another week, which is a little frustrating because part of the reason I liked them was because you could get them quickly while you were waiting on some of your special orders and other things where you pick the size and the drills. That makes more sense to have a pre-order and wait. And I have three coming from Dreamer Designs. That one stuck somewhere in Illinois. Hopefully it'll show up this week and I can show off some of those. So that's my plan for the week. Got a, some more minis from Timu sitting over there, but I figured you guys were kind of tired of those. I have a couple more Van Goghs from Amazon that I bought to add to my little collection. So again, not enough to really do an unboxing for those. So I'll be in touch with you guys and talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. Howdy everybody, it's Amy from Amy Sparkly Diamond Painting. How are you doing? Hopefully everybody's had a relaxing weekend. This is Sunday, the start of June. And I wanted to do a month in review for May. I don't have a whole lot of big stuff to show you, but I do have some little things. But the other thing I'm going to do is a whip parade because it's been a while since I've updated you all on some of the diamond paintings in progress that I've been working on. So this may be a slightly longer video. I'll try to break it up into two parts. But this is also why I'm zoomed out a bit and trying to keep my dog from knocking over the camera. <laughs> she heard me talking, so she had to come see what was going on. So I've had a lot of new subscribers over the last couple of weeks. So I wanted to say thank you and welcome in for all the new people out there. Uh, I do a lot of uh, diamond painting unboxings from budget companies as well as some premium companies. And I do monthly... Uh, reviews and all sorts of things so anyway welcome in and thank you for watching and if you are new here uh, and if you want to support my channel hit the like and subscribe button and all that good YouTube stuff because that's how we get in the news feeds for people and that's how we grow our channels so let's start with how May went for me this month well this month last month <laughs> So, uh, I had a couple of PR packages that this one actually I started in April, but I finished in May. And I wanted to talk a little bit about PR packages and why we do those on the channels and why the companies ask us to do those. It's kind of a mutually beneficial deal because sometimes we get uh, referral codes and get small commissions, which helps grow our channel, which helps us purchase things that we can show you guys. It also gives us content that we can show you because it can get pretty expensive buying a lot of things to unbox all the time. So it helps the channel out, plus we get a little more exposure, but it also helps the companies out because these companies, a lot of them are not manufacturing the, the diamond paintings they show. They're uh, selling them and um, purchasing them from different sources, but they want their customers to be happy and they want to know is our, the products on their website, are they any good? Or are they gonna get a lot of returns? They want happy customers that'll come back. So anyway, that's a short thing about PR packages. So this was the first one uh, that I did for New Craft Day. So I picked this one myself and I picked kind of a large one with ABs and all that. This is a round to really see how a good big canvas worked from that company and this was a really nice one I had a lot of fun doing this it wasn't the same repeat on all four quadrants there were slight differences so it, it never got boring and lots of sparkle look at all those ABs so you can see my video of the unboxing of that thank you new craft day I won't go into too much detail on that because I've already talked about it so let's move that. So then New Craft Day came back with a couple other canvases and asked me to showcase or try out some of those. So one of them I finished and did in the review. That was this one, the Bluebird here. Lots of special drills. So that didn't take long. That was a pretty fun one. 
So I won't talk too much about that because I already have. But I also finished the other one here. I don't think I really did a review of this one. I just did like a short, one of my like 15 second shorts on this one. So this one had fewer special drills. It, it did have some of the flowers, but, and some of my favorite little gold half circles there, but this was more rhinestones. So this one did take a little bit longer, but I think it came out just fine. And I am going to work out the, the kinks on these. You can iron these. I also cut them out and glue them typically onto canvas. So I'm not too worried about these little creases in it. They'll go away once I mount it. So that was all from New Craft Day. So thank you to New Craft Day for that. And I'm going to go into this one next because I want to remind everybody about Art Dot because they did ask me to review their trays. And the reason I wanted to mention it is because the contest on my uh, Art Dot unboxing is still going on. That'll be through June 12th. So if you haven't seen that video or put your entry in if you'd like to, you still have plenty of time for that. But what I did for that is I kitted these up. I got these from Temu and I kitted up this kit into the art dot trays and completed them. So there we go. And since I had 20 art dot trays and 20 colors for this, it was really easy to swap back and forth with all the trays, it made them go really fast. So I did like that method of kitting up into the trays because they are stackable as you can see. So I really did like those, that was fun. And I think these came out pretty well. They have a lot of sparkle. They were okay drills, not, not as nice as, as the two that I just showed. I mean, they were usable there. They're just a little bit cheaper drills, so I did not save these rhinestones. I dumped them in my spare jar, but these were fun. They came out really nice, and I do seal these. These are just plywood on the back. I will, uh, I haven't sealed these yet. What I'm going to do is put some stain on the back of these to make the back look a little bit prettier and then I will seal those. So I'll probably get to that later this week. So you can see they're not exactly the straightest thing, but hey, they were cheap and easy and came out quite pretty. And then one day saving came to me and asked me if I would do a PR package for them. And I recently, I just posted this video yesterday. So you've probably seen it very recently. So this was, I'll turn it sideways so you can really see the flowers on there. So this was a special drill sun catcher that's colored on both sides, but it had all these little tiny flowers on here. And the stick is good on this one. I'm not gonna seal it. I really like this kit. This was a lot of fun with all those special drills on there. So that was a definite thumbs up on that one. And then this was the other kit that they, they sent me and I finished this one yesterday as well. I haven't like put a video up or showed it. I showed part of it being done um, on my review and unboxing for this kit, but I have completed it there. So I was worried about, this was a 30 by 30, meaning 25 by 25. So I was kind of worried about the detail on this, but as you can see, it worked up just fine. You can see the branches, you can see the colors and the, the dripping colors and the reflection in the water there. It all came out just fine for that size. So because this one also had 20 colors, I kitted that up in the trays as well. And it worked great because as you could see, lots of confetti on this one with all those color changes. So it was really easy to miss some colors and have to go back. So I was able to just kind of dip my pen in all the different trays for the ones that I missed. And it went really quick, as you can see, is another finish. So thank you to One Day Saving for providing those for me. They were a lot of fun. And one of the other things I unboxed this month were uh, the minis that are not paint gem minis. I got these off of 
Timu, and I have the butterflies and the, the houseplants now to unbox and show you. I'll do that later this week because you're probably tired of seeing minis <laughs> from me. So I try to, to do some variety, but they're still sitting in that package waiting for me to open them up. But I wanted to do a couple of these. So here is, uh, or here are, I should say, two of the ones from the landscape set. And the reason these both have washi tape on them is because the glue does extend kind of far beyond the diamonds. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe it was even double-sided adhesive, but it's not. It is poured glue. It just does extend a bit out from the canvas. So I was trying to cover up some of that extra stick, but these were fun. The drills are just fine. Um, actually, they remind me exactly of paint gem drills. So they are acrylic and they work out just fine. So nothing special, but if you don't like the paint gem drills, you may not like these either. I don't mind them. I, I have no problem with them. They remind me a lot, actually, also of the Art Dot drills that are acrylic. So acrylic drills don't bother me. So that's how those came out. And they are a budget version of paint gem type things. I was wondering, what are these two black dots there? They look like swimmers in the water. Or something. I'm not completely sure. So that's how those came out. Very nice. And this one I showed as an almost completion. I think at the end of last month I had mentioned I wanted to get this one done because I wanted my trays back. <laughs> or not trays. I wanted my uh, containers back for this because I had my paint gem uh, case with the 30 uh, bottles in it and I wanted that free so I did go ahead and finish this one and this was I believe uh, an Amazon or Temu purchase from a long time ago but it was a, a fun one here an ocean scene with lots of fish and the big old turtle so even though this one's pretty narrow I think the size on here um, says 90 by 30 but really this is only 25 so even though it's pretty narrow, because it's so zoom zoomed in on the subject matter, it came out just fine. So that's one of the things I look for. If I'm looking at smaller canvases, I want to make sure that the subject matter is zoomed in enough that you will be able to get all the detail on that. So I think this one actually came out quite nice. And I got an older one done. Yay! So that is on my finishes. And then my last big finish is the other one that I showed as uh, my plan to finish for the end of the month. And here it is. This is my Van Gogh for the month. Though. So this is Cafe Terrace at Night from Diamond Art Club. And this is a 42 by 56 centimeter. It is Vincent Van Gogh. Lots of special drills. It's not too big though. So I tackled this one because um, it was a little bit different than the Starry Starry Night that you see everywhere and it looked like it was rendering pretty well for the small size. So Diamond Art Club rendering works really well I think for this particular painting because they're much uh, more, oh, I still can't seem to find quite the right word that I'm looking for. Their rendering is sharper, uh, maybe is a word less. Um, so it's more exact and sharper. So you see the lines very clearly for the different furniture out here uh, at the cafe. So I thought the people were kind of funny. <laughs> they were kind of cute. But this one wasn't perfect for me because of all the black drills on it. So these are the newer drills. It had the, the newer punch-out can um, cover paper, which I, I used for this one. I did not try to recover it or pull that clear cover sheet off. I did use the punch out and it worked just fine for this one. But this one has the black drills with the really tight grid. And so I struggled. This part went fine. Little sprinkles of black drills here and there, 
but once I got to the solid black areas, I had a lot of trouble fitting those black drills into the grid. And so I spent a lot of time pushing and picking out smaller drills and picking through the drills to try to find ones that would fit without causing too much trouble. So you can even see around the edges, maybe you can't, but I, I wanted to stay zoomed out so that you could see some of this, but everywhere where there are black drills, there's almost like a little bump on the edge because it was really hard to fit them into the grid. So a lot of this wasn't too bad, but as I got into this area, it, it was a bother. So I did put it away off and on, but I did finally get through and finish it. And I did one alteration. There was one area in here that had a few orange drills on this uh, wiring or uh, looks more like a metal grate. I'm not sure, you can kind of see here at the end. There's some, it gets really light there at the edge. Now the, the spot in there, it was part of the original painting that way uh, with a little bit lighter area, but I didn't like the color that was chosen and my eye just kept going to it. So I did alter Van Gogh's art <laughs> a little bit and I went ahead and filled in that area with the dark colored drills. So it didn't detract from the rest of the painting because I just kept looking at it, shaking my head saying, no, this is, this is my art. I get to make it how I want. So that is the last finish that I have for the month, but I have been doing a lot of work on several of my whips and I have a couple updates on some of them. So I'm going to stop the camera now and go get those and I'll be right back.